In your top story this evening, family and friends are mourning the loss of Aaron Magruder, who lost his life to a house fire on New Year's Day. Good evening. I'm Katie Orth. And I'm Eddie Flores. Big Twos Dion Kim was at the scene of the fire, and she has more on the aftermath of the tragedy and also what friends are saying about the situation. Gian? Well, guys, officials are still investigating the cause of the fire. As for the three people who were injured, Yasmin Tarango and her brother have been released from the hospital, and Yasmin is waiting to return for her surgery. But for Aaron McGruder, he died about 12 hours after the incident. I don't think it's, it's, it's settled yet, honestly. Like, I mean, yeah, I've cried, but it's still not real. The pain of Aaron McGruder's death on January 1st is weighing down the hearts of friends Jacob Wheeler and Rebecca Heeb. I'm getting, I'm getting choked up. It's just tough. While wife Yasmin Tarango and her brother was saved, McGruder lost his life protecting the love of his life. The way they looked at each other was the definition of true love. I mean, you can ask anyone. Aaron was all Yasmin ever talked about. <laughs> and vice versa, so... My heart really hurts for her. He'll crack a joke, be acting smart, and you know she'll slap him or something, and they'll both laugh it off. Is you know I never really saw him fight ever. The three friends grew up together since seventh grade. Miller says what made Aaron so special was his smile and the laugh, dude. That dude's laugh is contagious. And for Heap, he was like a brother. He was the one who walked me home from school every day when my brother couldn't. I never really hung out with any of the girls because I was always picked on. And Aaron was always there for me. He's a protector. I mean, he's a big hearted dude. It's kind of selfish to say, but I didn't expect Aaron to ever die young because he was such a, a good hearted person. Like While life has taken them in different paths since high school, Wheeler says they were always on the same page. I could not see him for six months, and then as soon as you see him, it's. It's like you never even skipped a beat. But Wheeler says Aaron's heroic death speaks volume to his character. There's no better way that he could have went out, you know. That was literally Aaron to a T. There will be a public visitation for Aaron McGruder tomorrow from 2 to 9 p.m. and a rosary at 7 p.m. This will all be held at the Martinez Funeral Home. Also, his funeral will be at 10 a.m. this Saturday at the Bethlehem Baptist Church. And all of this is open to the public. Reporting live, Jiang Kim, Big 2 News.